this is just really like one of those cool little stops and I thought it'd be a perfect place to start my vlog. Let's see how I, good I get with this and I want to turn so you can see. I don't know if you can see the colors or not, but the trees are all, I mean to me they're almost peak down here and I'm really surprised at that. So I'm going to turn the camera around, kind of maybe show you a little bit, a better view of the lake. And there's that soul here. Like Normally in the summertime, this boat launch area on Kingston Lake is like really packed. My car is the only one over there. So anyways, I'm heading home and hopefully I will continue this vlog for you guys and share the rest of my week. So I'm out in the motorhome, guys, and I'm trying really hard to prepare this place because we're going to have a, a guest till end of the week tell if I'm in frame or not. But anyways, we're gonna have a, um, a guest, so I want to vacuum and I want to prepare the motorhome a little bit, put new sheets on. And then next week, I think I already mentioned this, I'm not too sure, um, after the motorhome to the beach, and uh, we'll do a last camping weekend at the beach, and then we'll drain all the systems. I think it's still open next week. I'm going to pick somebody up. Please. Are you ready? Yeah. Take a look at who's here. Hello, it's Dynamite Productions back in the hood. I mean, Monica's hood. In my hood. Yeah. yeah. Monica's town, so hello, everybody. I'm so excited to see you. I'm so cool. Cool. So now we're going to run to London. Well, we're going to run to my office. We're going to run there, and I'm going to sit down and enjoy some more Wi Fi. Yes. And make you have more videos. You would have Wi Fi there. Awesome. I Ciao, guys. Happy Saturday guys, Jay and I are getting ready to go out on a little bit of a road trip and we're taking Random Life Productions with us. We're going to go to spots along the coast and then we're going to make our way to York, Maine and we're going to have lunch with some realtor friends and then probably a walk along the ocean. It's going to be a fun day. So here we are. Now I'm going to show Gail. Hello. This is for my blog. The other one's the Insta story. There's JJ. Great Island Common, Newcastle, New Hampshire. Me Isn't it cool? We're the artist. The artist. The artist. To take a picture when I visit you. And now we're going to go see the lighthouse, and then we're going to head to Maine. That way. Yeah, that away. That away. Monica's getting me into trouble. Look what the stairs here, and she wants me to go in. She's going to go in. Monica, what can I do with you? <laughs> Like, You're going to follow the blue mark I'll and visitors must stay on the blue. So we're in Fort Constitution and we're bringing a Brit to visit Fort Constitution. Uh, I'm not the English invader, I'm the Welsh person. Oh, she's a Welsh person, but... I remained objective in the fight. Oh, that's good. Were you even alive back then? No, I, <laughs> I didn't think so. English in my descendants, so Ooh. I could have come, one of my descendants could have come over and invaded Monica. That's right. So could have. It would, oh. So anyways, we're, we're here in Fort Constitution, Portsmouth Harbor, and um, we're just going to walk out to the edge. And, whoops. Oh, watch out for all the, the, um, the poop. See, this is, this is the sky rafts, we call them. You call them seagulls. To us, they're sky rats, and they make a mess, and they poop and poop. You can climb up to that old fort right up there too, behind you. So when what I normally do is climb down on the rocks. You go right ahead. It'll be an interesting perspective for you. What's that? There used to be weaponry protecting the good people of the USA from those Brit invaders. Yeah, I'll take a second. 
So we just finished having lunch at the Sun and Surf or Surf and Sun and Gail got to meet some of our fellow realtors and she met a real life rock collector. Ooh, yeah, right? She was a freckle rock collector. She was a freckle <laughs> And now we're heading to Perkins Cove. Yep. Marginal Way. I like that. Holy sardines! Things you see on the side of the road. This is not what you see in the UK at all. No? No. But it's a pretty cool thing, this it, in Maine. It is a pretty cool thing in Maine, but you'd never see it in London. They would think people go going on. Really? Yeah. Oh, I think it's really awesome. It's an yeah, I think it's an awesome thing to see. See? Oh, we're probably all going. <laughs> I'll be back for rent. One very small bedroom. Neighbors are dead quiet. <laughs> Did you read that sign? Yeah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Hi there. a friend on the side of the road. Eagle, this man will do an interview with it, you. He's a brother from another mother. <laughs> you got that, Eagle? Keith. You bad, girl. Interview. He looks like Keith, though, look. Doesn't he look like Keith? Oh, Keith, he looks like you. He does. He's a brother from another mother. He does oh. look like Keith, doesn't he? Don't you think? Sort of, yeah. And he also has a lovely love story. Hmm. Does Keith tell love stories? I don't know. He may just do. <laughs> I think we lost Jay across the street. There he is. So they're cracking up because I'm doing an Insta story. This guy, especially, he says I'm addicted to Insta story. There's and Gail. She's got an addiction. <laughs> it's Sunday morning, and we are heading up to the White Mountains. Probably about a two-hour ride, maybe two to two and a half hours. We're gonna stop in the Flume Gorge and um, maybe. Oh, she's fat. Look at that. That's how cold she is. It's 44 degrees and Gail is thinking it's win winter woolies time. I guess it is kind of cold. 44. So anyways, we're going to do the Flume Gorge and then we're going to go up to uh, Mount Washington Hotel. It's haunted and Gail's already getting nervous. We won't let the ghosts get her. It's so cold. It's snowing. It started snowing on the way up here and they're forcing me. Yeah, I'm forcing her to walk up the mountain because I think it will be good for her stepping out. Yeah. Yesterday I had almost 12,000. So oh, yeah, this is cool. We're at the Flume Gorge. It's pretty cool here. So, it's freezing. It's actually snowing out. I had to go buy this thing for my ears. We are on the Flume. How's the cold weather? Snoo.
I think we're nuts. <laughs> well, I think we're nuts, but we're having a blast! So we're at the Mount Washington Hotel. This is just like such an unbelievably gorgeous, gorgeous spot. Snowing. But I think Gail's having a blast. Having fun, honey? Yeah. Glad to have some Wi-Fi so you can check your email, right? Yeah. Oh, it was chilly out there. Yeah. Years ago, Jay and I spent a lot of time hanging around in the cave. The cave is an extremely popular bar lounge at the lower level, the basement level of the Mount Washington Hotel. Back in the day, we used to come to the Mount Washington quite often for realtor events and conventions. And this is the hotel that in one of my previous vlogs that I did, I think last year around this time, that I talked about seeing a ghost in this hotel. This is known to be haunted and there are a couple of spirits that do visit on a regular basis. One is Princess Caroline, who was a former owner. Anyways, this is just an awesome place, an awesome bar, and I have lots of really great memories here. Afterwards, we drove down to Jackson, New Hampshire, and Jackson has an annual pumpkin festival. It's called actually the Return of the Pumpkin People. It's quite a popular event, but it was so cold, it couldn't stand it. We did stop in Ravenwood. This is probably the most interesting shop I've ever been in, both inside and outside. What do you think of this place? of myself sitting on there. It's a very cold. Okay. 